Asking the question, who are the world's first scientists, brings about the Greeks as the first people known to make models of nature and as being a scientific people engaging in scientific thinking. We want to ask, as a, is Greece the home of scientists? Of course, we are told that the legacy of Greek genius is through science but this is the greatest lie ever sold because scientific findings themselves tell us that the real home of science is not greece these are provable facts that the original home of science has been ignored where is that home of original science why is it unknown how is it original what is science what is the aim of this original science what is science According to the studies that have been done and explanations given, the word science is thought to originate from the Latin word scientia, which means knowledge or understanding. The Latin form of also the term of scientia itself is derived from the verb xer, meaning to know. And then the scientific method is explained as stating the problem, formulating hypothesis, experimenting, collecting data and analyzing that and then drawing conclusion. We want to do that concerning the question of whether science originated in Greece. Because as far as we know, when we read the, their own self-testimony to answer the problem, where did science come from? Did Greece or in the Greeks design or discover science? When we think of that and we read what one of their scientist Democritus says, he said statements after studying for five years in Africa and he was boasting and saying among all contemporaries I have traveled all over the largest portion of the earth in search of things that uh, the most remote places and have seen the most climates and countries had the largest number of thinkers and no one has excelled in me in geometric construction and demonstration not even the geometers of Hamid and when he says that he tells you that he spent five years as a guest so he is comparing himself with the greatest therefore the source of ancient science or modern science is not Greece because even this man Democritus discovered nothing and he was always boasting so when we look at the concept to answer the questions that we have raised about the origins of science we have to look at the concept of power understanding this concept of power and the nature of power we go to ancient Hamid where we learn of the natus gods or goddesses and these are the source of power because the etymology of the word god when you resolve it it means a power and a family of gods means a family of divinities of power known as paute or ogdod eight or enid nine very critical to know so when we reference to these groups of gods and their symbol of the x is the authority and power and the force of nature understanding what has come up to us now from those ancient times it is very clear that like the greeks when they say this city has eight gods and they say oh god this is the nine gods they say earn it we know that it is a demonstration of the it is a symbol of strength military power or even divine force today in modern terms it is very clear the modern science of thermodynamics and forces which is quantifiable it tells us that the more nuclear weapons you have the more power you have it is very very obvious that in africa no country has power if we resolve that in this understanding it is very clear that countries like russia united states united kingdom france Israel, China, North Korea, India, Pakistan, they are superpowers in terms of military force. So the term God accordingly in its original definition sense is a synonym for power, be it military, social, economic or anything, but it's force. You can do something forcefully. The Greeks learned all this when they translated our ancient divinities or gods to their own 
centers of power. So the etymology of the word chemistry itself, which is popular today, is keme, black soil, or honey, black soil. The Greeks took it over and converted it. They said, this is a mystery. These people perform mysteries. This is a proof that the Greeks did not originate science and Greece is not the home of science. So all the other scientists that have come after us, having studied what we do with the natural powers, natural forces, including the Coptics, who are the Greeks, the Arabs, Boyle, Stahl, and Macquarie, all of them went through the study of Hamid. So chemistry is calm mystery. So in the first millennium BC, the Greeks from Lycogos, 850 BCE, to Maneto, 275 BCE all traveled to Africa to study in Afro great colleges after which they began to call these studies chemetic art or black art or black science as evidenced by the papyri the Leiden and Stockholm papyri discovered recently and uh, this was found in the tombs in Paris now renamed the Leiden papyri X and uh, Stockholm papyri by the Greek Kenya. These were found also explained and extrapolated in the works of Zosimas, who is thought to be a chemist or a scientist and also was stolen by the pale Arabs as alchemy in the 17th, 18th century. And everybody thinks that the Arabs are smart, the Arabs invented it. They didn't invent nothing. Greece is not the home of science, but the home of plagiarism. Let's look at thermodynamics since we are into uh, thermodynamics these days. The gods, Ra, is the source of almost modern physics as well as thermodynamics. The Greeks incorporated the symbols that were found by our ancestors historically and uh, drew a circle and put a little dot in it representing the sun as Africans had always done in its various incarnate or cultural rescripts. The ancient symbology of a snake that is chewing its tail, which is a very mysterious and religious mythology, goes back to almost thousands and thousands of years before the Greek symbol of Theta came on board, which was introduced and which evolved in many other rescripts. So Philo, Babylos, Byblos, as well as Porphyry, all and John Lydas all added to that symbol which began as the sun, Ra, and now became the term Theta. In uh, 110 century, Philo of Byblos, a Roman antiquarian writer of grammatical, lexical, and historical works in Greece, reported the Greek theater its origin is Kamitic and that there was a habit of ancient Kamite priest teachers and so-called scientists to draw a snake that turned inward and put a little dot to represent the eye of that god in this world. This is cosmological. The Greeks are master plagiarists because all the other writers and scientific findings that we are giving here to answer that question whether Greece is the origins of science or not Porphyry 280 uh, after common era a Roman philosopher and student of Polotinus stated that the Greek theater corresponds firstly to the soul of the world which correlates to the word world soul retrospectively and also more importantly that the significance of the number nine remember the nine fold soul we talk about which he says was numerically representative of the famous nine sun god family known as the Enid by the greeks found in heliopolis in the creation myths is the basic theory behind the construction of the pillar myths well, this is explained eternal life all explained and you can see theta how it came about so greece is not the home of science let's look at the letter delta very important the greeks land of delta as a reference to the triangle shape of the nile delta the watery fatal upside down triangle shaped green 
crop growing region of the Nile Ahapki, as this land was called by our ancestors. And the Greeks renamed that upside down triangle water to show that this is water. And the, you can see the gods, Oresu, the centers, and the pinyos. The Greeks were not yet literate. In reference now to the sun, they then put an upright triangle to represent the pyramid built at Memphis, the Great Pyramid. So it's water and fire. And you can see the four, water, fire, moisture, and air, and earth, the five inclusive and included there in this symbology. So if we move faster now, we have to acknowledge that the triangle throughout human history, at least as far as extant chemical texts illustrate, has been the symbol of heat or fire, which in the post-thermodynamic era became the symbol for change. E.g. the change in the internal energy, symbol U, of a system defined as follows, shown here where U is final, or UF is the internal energy at the final state of existence of the system is the measure of the internal energy at the initial state of existence of the system and the way delta signifies the change or final minus the initial values of each pre each measure so delta is thermodynamics it came from the delta from our source not the greeks so this symbol is a theta theta deltaics the etymologies and chemistry and thermodynamics given here predated th by thousands of years can clearly show their roots in african mysteries black signs and translated based on english alphabet today via the greco romans but without giving any credit to the source whatsoever why because they know that the original home of science is purposely to be ignored because the Greeks stole African philosophy and African science. A thief is always guilty and cannot go about shouting that I am a thief. Let's look now at the waters of Nunu and combine these. In 570 BCE, Heraclitus, after studying in the colleges of Africa, as most Greeks did during these centuries, developed an N Egon model. A gone meaning work and n meaning in to go into or case to cause to be of things wherein flux or change delta and fire theta was the basis of all things. The Heraclitus model is shown here in many other contexts. In 350 BCE, Aristotle in his physics building on the early econ ideas of Heraclitus along with other elements that he added like the model of Empedocles and atoms and void model of Democritus introduced the term dynamis meaning potentiality where have you heard that term the waters of union the potential of everything in the waters of union that are everywhere energy meaning being at work self generated God remember that where did this idea come they came from that meaning the meaning has been tweaked here and there but you can see that they stole everything everywhere so your car kinetic art of deltaics that's your car capture that because we shall conclude in a very interesting way it is important to notice that entropy is not only necessarily a disorder but is a measure of the exact differentiation that occurs with the energy that you were given when you came on the earth whether you use it for positive or negative or neutral and when you came out so the letter e which later became the letter for energy adopted by the greeks in 1000 bce derived from our own symbol of a man raising his hands in the shape of the car is meaning that this person is in action is doing work is expending energy is using his spirit is using his force so the letters that the words that either came from there the symbol Protosynetic, the Phoenician, the Epsilon Greek, the work for Homer, Ergon, indeed, Heraclitus, to act, Aristotle, Energia, and Clausius, who Clausius who gave us energy, shows that these words are all derived from the car, which is your energy. What is thermodynamics? Let's conclude. 
1875, Clausius had uh, subsumed uh, Hamilton and other versions of dynamics and uh, took the sun symbol, remember the triangular symbol, the fire symbol of the pyramid, borrowed by all these Greeks, the delta, and all other signs to come up with thermodynamics and the second law of thermodynamics by Maxwell. In conclusion, therefore, all the Greeks you can think of came to Africa to learn. All the Greeks who say that they discovered this and don't give credit where they learned from are liars. They didn't even know about the atom. Because when you look at the atom, the source and the center of quantum science, Shu, Nyaut, and Tefnyat. This is very, very clear. Now let's conclude by answering what is science and what is the aim or what the aim of science in mysteries. The ancient Egyptian myth of Atum arising from the new energy, spending energy, of the earth and hill rising from the waters of chaos, low energy, matches Thales world, world portrait better than anything gathered from the disjunctive mythology of Greece. So it's the other way around. The Greeks were the ones believing literally in the symbols of the gods that they were given by our ancient ancestors. So what is science? Science is the study and understanding of how you can interact with the forces of the waters of Nunu. That's powerful, uh, powerful that. The real home of science is not Greece, but every conscious, awakened, melanin dominant Muntu who is interacting with the forces from the waters and in the waters of Nunu inside their body so that they can cause their divine spark to escape entropy. You too can be effective and become the home of true science when you ignore the Greeks and their theologies and their teachings. If you want to learn more about this, send us an email join at marifado.com. Till we meet again, Yohamani Jatobi, Priest Rabbi Ellen Dwizul Kunigadim Jaganja says, Yes, the real home of science is not Greece, but every conscious, melanin-dominant, awakened human being. Amen.